In the match for the third place and for the consolation prize, Olympiakos and Novi Beograd met. Let us remind you that the Greeks were defeated by Pro Reco in the semi-finals after penalties, and the Serbs were defeated by Ferenc Varos in the same way. Hervoy Kolyanin's players started the match in a better mood. After three minutes, there were no goals, and then Gunadinia scored from the left wing. A minute later, Olympiakos got an extra player, and it was realised by Dimu. The Belgraders waited for the first goal until two minutes before the end of the first quarter, when Drasovic was accurate from outside. However, in the very next attack, the Greeks earned a five-metre shot and Genadinias was the sure executor. Kias took care of the big lead just three seconds before the end of the first quarter, scoring a goal from a half-counter. Novi Beograd did not give up, but played better at the beginning of the second quarter. In their first attack, they got a penalty, and it was realised by Chuk. Less than a minute later, the same situation again. Another penalty kick for Zhivko Gocic's team, and again, Chuk was precise. Olympiakos's post was broken a minute later by Fontulis with a shot from the outside. That's where their streak began. In the next attack, Vamos also scored with an extra player. And an excellent game in that period was crowned with another goal by Fontulis. After almost five minutes without a goal, Motinov had sended the negative streak for the Serbian champions with a shot from outside. The score at half-time was 7-4. In the third quarter, the game was played without goals for a long time, and then in the middle part of the game, Vamos once again realised an extra player. In the next attack, Novi Beograd responded in the same way. After a nice action, Yashiks, who did not play in the semi-finals due to suspension, scored. Only two goals were scored in the third quarter. After two and a half minutes of play in the last quarter, Olympiakos won a five-metre shot and Funtelis brought them back up to plus four. Until the end, the Greeks maintained their advantage without any problems and the players of Novi Beograd had no solution for the great goalkeeping of Biac. The only thing they managed until the end was Vlakolopoulos' goal when everything was already decided. The final score was 9-6 for the Greeks. For Olympiakos, this is the first medal after 2018 when they were the European champions and Novi Beograd, after two consecutive finals, was left without a medal this time. The most efficient among the winners was Funtelis with three goals, and Biatch was excellent again with ten saves. Among the defeated, the only double scorer was Chuk, and it should be noted that due to suspension, Filipovic was not present, who thus played his last match in a super-rich career in the semi-finals. In the last and most important game of the season, defending champions Pro Reco and Ferenc Varos met. The Italians reached the final via Olympiakos and the Hungarians via Nevi Biograd, both after penalties. Ferenc Varos was the first to take the lead. After two and a half minutes, Vendel Bigvari scored with an extra player. Immediately in the next attack, Yoki Grata retaliated with an extra player. Half a minute later, Sandro Sugno's team again got an extra player and scored a goal through Canella. Everything in that first quarter came down to a game with an extra player or a player less. So the Fradi's next goal was scored again with numerical advantage. In fact, with even two extra players, and the scorer was De Somma. With two all, we entered the second quarter. 
Almost two minutes were played without goals, and then Mandic launched his famous bomb from a half counter and put the Hungarians in the lead again. But Pro Reco immediately equalised with Junger's field goal. It was a period of goal for goal play. Ferenc Varos took the lead again through Silja Jancic with an extra player. Efficiency continued to decline as the Italians' next attack was realized with a second goal of Jochi Gratta. Then followed a period of Ferenc Varos's best play. First, Jancic brought them back to the lead. And then Mandic was among the scorers again, and the Hungarians went to the half-time with a nice advantage of 6-4. The Italians entered the third quarter well. They immediately won an extra player. The first attempt was blocked, but then Karkaris did a great job and reduced the score with a goal from the screw. The Fraudi immediately responded with an extra player. Agrilopoulos scored from the right wing and brought it back to plus two. Soon after, Balash Nike's team got the biggest advantage. They earned a penalty from which Danish Varga was safe. After that, Sandro Sukno reacted with a timeout, and in the next attack, his players won an extra player and realized it through the Hungarian representative in the ranks of Pro Reco, Gergo Zelanki. The Italians quickly got back into the game. Soon they got a new extra player, and this time the shooter from the front post was Ben Halleck. Then the coach of the Greens, Nike reached for a timeout, and Agriopoulos scored a very important goal for the new separation. With a score of 9-7, we entered the last quarter. After a little less than two minutes of play, Pro Reco reached the penalty, and Junger was accurate. That there could be drama in the end, it was hinted after that evening an exceptionally high spirit Jochi Gratta scored his third goal for 9 all. But right after that, the decisive moment of the match happened. Due to the violent action, Zelanki was sent off for four minutes, which meant almost the rest of the game. Ferenc Varas also got a five-metre shot scored by Mandic. In the very next attack, Varga scored in style, and it marked the beginning of the end for Pro Reco. They were given some hope by De Fulvio, who was the scorer in a very unusual attack, namely. Ferenc Varas had as many as three players sent off in one action. However, former Pro Reco player Dusan Mandic brought it back to plus two already in the next attack. The Italians, despite the handicap of less players, played bravely until the end. So Kakaris brought them back into the game again with a goal with an extra player. Pro Reco had a chance in the last attack to equalize and win the shootout. Sukno called another timeout. His players immediately won the man extra, but Kondemi's shot in the last seconds ended up in the block. In this way, Ferenc Varos won the second title of European champions, while Pro Reco remained at 11. For the Hungarians, Mandic was the most effective in the final with four goals. And for the Italians, Jochi Gretta was in a good mood with three. In this way, the triumph of the Fradi ended the spectacular final four in Malta.